So the project running at the moment here at Ply is to actually protect the reserve from rising sea levels, uh, creating a new flood defence so we, we're able to protect the freshwater habitats behind us. So the freshwater habitat on, on Clyde Saddles Marsh is, is managed for breeding waders such as lapwing, uh, redshank, avocet, oyster catcher. And obviously if, if the North Sea lets itself in and floods the reserve, they can potentially be affected if we are not able to evacuate the flood water quick enough and it could cause long-term damage. So the project here has been done over three phases. So we had reedbed restoration, north scrape restoration, which is one of our largest wader scrapes, and then the flood drain itself, a new flood drain going on on the reserve. We're actually moving what is an old flood drain further inland. So when we do have potential saline surges, um, movement of the shingle on Clyde Beach because it's a shingle-based beach, the drain itself will not fill in. Um, and we can take more water away from the reserve, stopping the freshwater habitat being affected by the salt. With the reedbed restoration, we've actually scraped off um, 100 mil of humus litter, basically build up over the years. And so we're actually making the reedbed wetter uh, and we've put in a lot more pools um, and scrapes in there. We'd be able to move uh, fish and invertebrates through the system as well, which is a great food source for things like the bittern. Uh, so hopefully we'll see, see some bitterns returning in the next few years. So North Scrape um, is Clyde's largest wading scrape. Um, it's an absolutely vital area for wintering wildfowl, breeding waders. So you know, it's an area we must protect and do work on. We, we've taken a lot of material off the actual scrape um, so we can get down to some real nice fresh mud. Um, in that time uh, process as well, we've put new wading islands in and we've created some more shallow lows. So we've got a sort of microcosm of habitat out there. I think there's been round about 25 acres that we've had to remove the soil off, as well as the pool and now the channel. I haven't had a chance to work out the volumes, but that's in the thousands and thousands of tonnes. And so, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> The scrape needs to be nice and open for certain species that would breed on the scrape. Things like ring plover, they like to see things coming from a long way away. So to, to maintain the scrape as it is, as, as an open scrape, uh, and to be able to manage the water levels on the scrape better, uh, will help us maintain those, those bird populations. <laughs>